Carrying on from the previous video, there is one more thing that we can do with this that might even give us a better result. And there is still quite a bit of variation between the, the shadow detail and the highlight detail, even though we've really brought it down quite a bit here. So what we can do is, if we also open up the original image that we haven't made any modifications to, let's create a copy of that layer. And we're going to apply to this a high pass. We can do that by going to Filter, Other, High Pass. And this is going to give us something that really um, kind of eliminates our, our darks uh, quite, quite significantly. And depending on where we uh, place this, we're going to get <clears throat> kind of this flatter result. And we don't want to lose all the detail like this, um, but we don't want to end up with, you know, this kind of extra detail either. So what I was finding is somewhere in the range of like 27.7 was working pretty well on this particular image. You can still see there's a little bit of highlight stuff going on there, but um, overall I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. And so if I click OK there, that's um, this is the result that I get from that. And one little thing I will fix on this is the highlights. We'll do this the same way we did it before, but we only need to do it once. So we'll convert it to a smart object. We'll go into our camera raw filter and we'll just bring down the highlights just once. And that's probably about enough to make this work a little bit better. There we go. You can see the before and after here. All right. Now, this is a nice gray image. This works really well for, um, for doing our uh, sort of displacement texturing and you know, for creating alphas for ZBrush, that, those sorts of things gives us a nice consistent kind of gray color that we can probably very easily match up with other uh, other textures from other sources. However, it may have some loss of detail that I'm not 100% happy with. And this is where I would kind of combine the two. Um, so if I take a look at the version that I made in the previous video, I see a big difference now compared uh, comparatively. So I'm just going to uh, copy all that information here. We're going to paste it above. And we could play around with opacity and um, you know multiply and add and all that kind of stuff. But I think really uh, it's just going to be a matter of um, probably just an opacity adjustment because um, I don't think that these uh, adjustment layers or these adjustments are going to make much difference to us just taking a look through to see if anything gives us anything interesting, but I don't think so. No. So what we'll do is we'll just take this opacity down a bit and see what it starts to do. And you can see now that we're getting back some detail that we had lost. And that includes some of this little d detail in the darks that we had started to lose. And if we do a little bit of a comparison before and after, you can really see where that comes in. And we don't want to bring back too much because that's going to kind of um, eliminate the, the point of what, why we did what we did. But somewhere in there, I start to feel like we have a bit more um, a bit more useful information to work from. So, you know, roughly 25% on this particular example. And this is probably the, the final version that I would want to work from. So I would just save that out. And um, that will be just I'll overwrite my TIFF that I had there for that. And, um, oh, sorry, it's actually open there. And then if we do that, we should be probably good to go. So that's it.